Dell Technologies had a great earnings on Thursday night as the stock jumped over 30% on Friday. On Friday, I also released a video explaining maybe a top level overview of how AI is driving Dell Technologies to new levels. But on today's episode, what I want to do is take a closer look at their overall earnings and just share my overall thoughts on this computing giant. So let's take a closer look in today's episode. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and check out fool.com slash Jose for the 10 best stocks to buy now. With that link, you get a promotional offer for the subscription service. Now, let's continue with today's episode. So Dell Technologies, as we can see, is now sitting at $124, market cap of roughly $88 billion. It was a huge growth after earnings, and we're gonna see it was mainly driven by the overall AI excitement. And right now, the company does have a dividend yield of 1.43%. After earnings, we started to see a nice amount of analysts increase their overall price target of Dell's. We can see this one increase to 125, this one to 140, 128, 100, 152, 140, 120, 125, and 125. So right now, I, I do want to say Dell has probably gotten close to the overall average of those price target analysts. And it does showcase that, hey, what Dell just kind of showcases during their earnings wasn't, in my opinion, a complete surprise. We do know that the AI market is benefiting. And thanks to the AI market benefiting, you are going to see growth in types of servers, in types of computing as well. And that's exactly what Dell announced. So here, their full year 2024 overview, Dell mentions that they had strong AI optimized server portfolio with growing demand and expanding pipeline. Outside of that, Dell doesn't only create servers for AI, AI servers, they also have a huge consumer market and PCs will become more essential as most day-to-day -day work with AI will be done on the PC and at the edge. So Dell right now is benefiting from two main driver forces. First is just the huge growth in PC shipments that we are seeing right now um, compared to the bottom where we're at, right? We're in the recovering phase of PC shipments. So Dell can benefit from the consumer aspect there as that continues to improve. And the second thing thing is their overall infrastructure business, which are dealing with AI servers. For quarter four fiscal year of 2024, they did mention a huge momentum in AI optimized servers. Orders increased nearly 40% sequentially. They shipped about 800 million of AI optimized, optimized servers in the quarter, and they have a backlog that doubled quarter over quarter to roughly 2.9 billion dollar existing exiting the fiscal year so overall huge demand here for ai solutions and that drove a lot of ai stocks up now if we take a closer look at dell in forms of quarter we can see their revenue was down 11 percent but they did see a growth in diluted earnings per share they have two main markets which is their consumer good market which was down 12 percent and their infrastructure market, which deals with things like AI servers, was down 6%. So overall, things were pretty weak um, compared to where they have, were a year ago. But remember, in the semiconductor market, to some extent, we saw a form of over-inventory correction, which kind of trickles down here to companies like Dell, which kind of end up selling the final product. So that's the main reason. But now we are seeing kind of this light at the end of the tunnel and there's a lot of light because there's a lot of ai demand happening that Dell can benefit from. In forms of their infrastructure solution group, the company did see a growth in traditional server sequentially and year over year. And this is, for those that are not familiar, traditional servers are just your servers that tend to have a CPU. They don't necessarily turn to have a accelerator to some, uh, an accelerator like a GPU. Those are what AI servers are determined. An AI server is a mixture of a CPU, plus an accelerator. They do mention that their Power Edge XE9680 remains the fastest ramping new solution in Dell history. And that is their overall server solution. Here we can see the Power Edge, which is our rack server. And here's where you can kind of include NVIDIA GPUs, um, whatever to form of CPUs in general. So this is their AI solutions that's seeing a huge amount of demand. And you can get obviously this rack in an AMD version or an Intel versions in forms of CPU providers. Now the overall CEO mentions that they just started to touch the AI opportunities ahead of them and they believe Dell is uniquely positioned with a broad portfolio to help customers build generation AI. And they do mention that right now they're seeing a huge demand for AI solutions and for AMD solutions as well with the upcoming AMD MI300X. And they are introducing 
introducing a new enterprise data storage advancement and plan validation with the NVIDIA DGX SuperPod AI infrastructure. So overall, first we can see that, hey, look, AI servers, this could be the next SuperMicro, right? Unfortunately, that's what's happening. Then you see that AMD is MI300X. Hey, look, this company can benefit both from AMD's growth and from NVIDIA's growth. And AMD can obviously benefit from the growth of more AI servers. Now, the last thing is pretty interesting. They introduced this enterprise data storage advancement. And some people might be wondering, hey, Jose, why is data storage advancement pretty important? And we can actually see this tweet from Michael Dell, um, where he mentions that a GPU from NVIDIA will often sit idle if storage can't feed it the data fast enough. That's why they have created PowerScale, the fastest AI storage in the world. And here is an example of PowerScale. So they pretty much mentioned that, hey, look, right now, you don't want your expensive GPU to sit idle. And the only way you can make sure that they don't sit idle is by using kind of our memory solutions like the PowerScale F5 200. And like they mentioned in the transcript, they are working already with NVIDIA to kind of validate this solution. So maybe it could be included one way in some of NVIDIA's infrastructure plans. Now, if we take a closer look at their transcript, we see a lot of things mentioned from the COO and just overall management. First, they continue to showcase the strength of their Power Edge solution, which remains the fastest ramping solution of Dell. They also believe that the long-term AI action is on premise and not on cloud, where customers can keep their data and intellectual property pretty safe and secure. So this can definitely benefit one way where many people believe that AI market is going to mainly be focused in the clouding market. Here we can see that Dell believes is going to focus on the on-premise market, at least for their opportunity. And they do mention that in May, Dell is going to have Dell Technologies World, where they are going to announce a nice amount of new products and solutions for the AI market. The CEO has also mentioned that the demand continues to outpace supply for GPUs, and they are the, even though they're seeing H100 lead times improving, they're also seeing strong interest in orders for AI GPUs, including the H200 and the MI300. And most customers are still in the early stages of their AI journey. The CFO did kind of create maybe some form of headwinds in the short term. The macro environments, however, is leading customers to be more thoughtful about their infrastructure budgets, particularly in the first half. But they expect their infrastructure infrastructure solutions group to grow in the mid-teens fueled by AI with a return to growth in traditional servers and storage. One thing I was not a fan of, they do mention that given the higher mix of AI optimized servers, inflationary input costs, so the high cost of GPUs, and the current competitive environment, they do expect their gross margin rates to decline roughly 100 basis points. So this is something scary happening in the AI server side. Right now, certain components like GPUs are very, very expensive. And at the same time, they have to have competitive pricing against other AI server solution players out there that this that that is overall impacting their company's gross margins. So this can maybe be seen as a bearish sentiment for a lot of companies like Dell, like Supermicro, and anybody else that deals in the AI server side. And the analyst asked the question of, hey, who is buying a lot of these AI solutions? Is it cloud server providers? Is it on-prem providers? Is this enterprise? And the CEO mentioned that the number of cloud server providers grew and the number of enterprise buyers also grew. So right now they're seeing a huge demand of AI solutions from both sides of the spectrum. And and that demand is across the H100, the H800, the H200, and the MI300X. There's also discussion of liquid cooling. Um, we know Supermicro is a big player of liquid cooling. And Dell mentions that, hey, look, they're characterizing their overall thermal side, and you really don't need direct liquid cooling to get energy density of 1,000 watts per GPU. They do believe that might change later next year with the B200. Um, but right now, the company mentions, hey, look, we're working on liquid cooling, but it's something Thing that they believe is not a necessity at these levels and they will kind of showcase their overall solutions when it is needed in the overall market. The final thing I want to take a closer look at with Dell is where they believe a big opportunity is for them, and that's where the data is. And they mentioned 83% of all data is on-premise. AI moves to the data. More data will be created outside of the data centers going forward than inside the data centers today. So they do believe enterprise customers are going to be a huge customer for them for their AI server solutions. And right now, they're already seeing perfect examples where, in some cases, companies are using 
using the tooling of the public cloud, and then they quickly find that they want to run AI on premise because they want to control their data. So they're building their own AI infrastructure solutions on the premise side. So that's interesting to see as a lot of people are very, very bullish on the clouding side. I do believe both clouding and enterprise solutions can benefit from this overall AI growth. Now, the final thing I want to do is take a closer look at PE ratios for Dell. Dell's forward one year PE ratio, which is the next 12 months, is sitting at 16.58 forward one year, which is roughly the next 24 months, is sitting at 14.44. I mean, these are very, very cheap levels in my opinion, but me personally for a hardware infrastructure company, very similar to Supermicro, I don't know if I'm willing to pay that type of valuation where this company normally trades at those valuations near the low teens, even closer to 10. If I may be honest, looking at those valuations and now looking at Google, which forward one year is sitting in the high teens, I personally would believe that, hey, instead of investing in this infrastructure market, which has a lot of competitions and uh, competition in uh, which is seeing a decrease in margins and only depends on the AI market, I might rather invest in Google, which has a similar low valuation to some extent and has a little bit more of a moat on itself. So let me know what you guys think right now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care. Have a good day and see you next time.